want every one of you to do something for for your grandchild, for your neighbors, for everyone. I'm just going to show you a, a very easy, very, very easy way to say hello and Merry Christmas. So you can write something inside and make a card with a Christmas tree, which you're going to do now with me. So feel free to use the papers that you have, one side colored, one side plain, or, um, you know, just make little, little, little Christmas trees where you can write inside. I've just made a few of them. And now I'm going to make one with you also. You can just line them with something or make dots of, or cut small pieces of paper and put them, okay? Uh, Here's one that I just stuck with. This is an, it was a packet. I cut the packet. You can, you can use newspaper. You can use anything. And then write Merry Christmas, a Happy Christmas, whatever you want inside as well. Okay. So what did we do? Now I don't have newspapers. Can you imagine we, we have everything sent to us on our phones, on our TVs, and we don't have newspapers here in Portugal. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, take any paper. I've just taken a simple card paper, but you can take any paper at all and cut out a round, okay? Uh, draw, draw a round, just one round like this. So we can cut it out. You can put a plate on it. You can put a cover. You can put a thali. Any, anything. I don't know whether you can see this round. But I'm just going to cut a round. So please do it with me if you have your papers with you. If you can only cut a big circle like this. If you have your papers with you, please use it. Okay. Just cut around and then don't throw these out because you can use all the papers that even are cut out for different things, okay? Now we're going to just fold this into half. We're going to fold it into half. Can you see the fold? And then I'm going to cut it straight, okay? Fold it and cut it. It's a very simple one. You can teach all your little grandchildren to do this as well. I taught my four-year-old grandson as well. Now, okay, I'm going to take a bigger one, white one for you to see better. Now, what do I do with this half semicircle? Make it into half, just a small little. And then take half of this. To that point so you make this one here did you see what I did again I'm going to tell you okay take a semicircle you, you're cutting around into half so you'll get two trees okay then you take this and mark the center of this with a pen or just a fold and then take the center from the tip to the center and mark one now, what you are looking at is this, is this one, not the center, but the top marking. Now, what do you do with the top marking? You want to fold it as much as you can. Hold your finger here, look what I'm doing, and just fold it. Press it down, okay? That's one fold. Then you turn it. And take the same measurement as this one as you did and fold it again. It's just the plain piano fold. Turn it, fold it on this again. So you have everything one behind the other, okay? And then you fold this again. I'm going to do it again for you, okay? And you fold it yet again, the same way. Now see what you get? Yeah. You get a pretty little tree with 
one, two, three, four, five, six edges. You can either draw something in the first first one, maybe do a rabbit or whatever, whatever. And then you can write something, Merry Christmas. Okay, whatever, put stars all over or whatever. So that, that's how simple it is. Then you, you take a small little star, you can stick in top here, or you can put some edge on it. I have a few edges like this, and you can just put an edge on it here, or even a bow on top, and that's it. So let's do it again, just for you to, if someone hasn't been attentive, please be attentive now. I just did a circle with a plate or whatever you want to. You don't have to have the compass to go around. Take anything that's round, a cover of a big box or whatever, or a tin, biscuit tin. Then you cut it into half. Now you take the center of this on the straight edge, make a mark. You don't really need the center, but I'm showing you because you have to take the center of this one from the edge to the center, mark it. If you want, you do it with a pen, okay? And then you fold this. Hold your finger on top here where the mark is and just Fold it as much as you want to, okay? Now, how are you going to turn it? You're going to turn this and fold it exactly on this line. So you get a neat one. Then you're going to fold it on this line. So you're getting another neat edge. And then you're going to fold it on this line. Yet another neat edge. And then the last, last one, according to the edges. Now here, I have a little extra one, right? I'm jutting out. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to cut it off. Yep. There you are. And then you can put something or the other on top. Let's put a... Any star or a bow or whatever. And this can be actually stuck on a card. Just any card where you can write even more and put it on your presents when you give your presents to somebody. You can just do this, okay? So is that okay? Stick this up here. A small little star. I did the star with with a small tinsel that I had. Okay? You can do anything. You can make a bow. You can make a star. Anything at all. So that's it with our Christmas card. Simple. Yet. Creative. Very nice, Sabrina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Simple things make people happy today, you know? <laughs> and teach yes. all your little grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. Too. This is really very easy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Next time we'll do a star, okay? Thank easy you. star. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sabrina.